Hi. Hi. Hello, Make-A-Wish World. Today's about one thing. One thing. Hope. Hope. Hope that shines brightly thanks to a wish. A wish. A wish. A wish that can transform a child. Like me. And me. A wish that lifts an entire family. And everyone else who touches. Donors. Donors and nurses. Communities. You. You. So sit back and join us for a story about the power. The power. The power of a wish. And how you can make that wish happen so hope shines brightly. Good afternoon, I'm Alyssa Carapris. Welcome to our celebration of World Wish Day, the anniversary of the wish that started it all and founded Make-A-Wish, an organization that grants life-changing wishes to kids with critical illnesses. I'd like to thank Turner Construction Company for making this show possible. Joining me in today's celebration is local celebrity, pop artist, and Capital Region native, Madison Vandenberg, a finalist on season 17 of American Idol. So happy to have you here. Uh, okay, so we've been at a few Make-A-Wish events together now over the past several years, and I'm hearing that you have a little special something to share with us. Yes, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to share an original song I wrote that was inspired by the Wish Kids that I've worked with and I've met over the years, and uh, it's called Bring on the Night. I'm okay, very excited. <laughs> Bring on the Night. Can't yeah. wait to hear. Looking forward to that. We also want to introduce you to the CEO of Make-A-Wish of Northeast New York. Bill Trigg. Always good to see you, Bill. Thank you, Alyssa. Okay, so you're going to be sharing with us a few local wishes that have been granted, but also this includes a very special one that was granted recently. Tell us about that. That's right. Make-A-Wish Northeast New York has been granting wishes for local kids since 1987, and we just celebrated our 2000th wish recently. In fact, Madison joined me at the airport to welcome back Anthony DiCipio and his family from his Walt Disney trip. 2,000 wishes. Yes. Wow. All right, let's take a look at that wish. So Madison, here we are at Albany International Airport waiting for Anthony and his family to return from his Walt Disney World wish down in Orlando. Wow. Uh, this is very exciting for us because Anthony is our 2000th wish recipient. And so we are very excited to be able to celebrate his wish with him, his return wish today. Oh my, 2000 wishes? That is incredible. Well, in addition to travel wishes, we also grant wishes uh, for kids who want to meet somebody special, who want to be somebody special for a day, who want to have a special thing, or some of our kids even want to give back. Hey, buddy. Hi, this is Anthony. Hi. This is nice. To, can I shake your hand, dude? How's it going? We also like to acknowledge Madison Vandenberg, uh, who does so much good Make Wish. Who is here today? You know, we are just so proud of him, and uh, we, you know, it just, just to be able to create that extra special magic for Anthony and his family uh, was a great honor for us. So thank you for that privilege for us. It is amazing at Animal Kingdom and all the other parks. Um, I would like to thank my wish granters, Jessica and Ken, and my man, Mark. Um, and I would like to say th a big thank you to Make a Wish Northeast New York. From the moment COVID started and then six, seven months later, Anthony got sick. This, this two years has been a, a very long time in our life. The trip was very special for all of us. It's time that we would have never had if it weren't for what they did for us. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you very much, Make-A-Wish, Northeast New York. Um, we can't say thank you enough. Really appreciate it. All right, so Madison, you were there for not just a wish, but the 2,000th 
Mm thousandth wish. What was that like? It was incredible. It was my first up close experience with seeing how a wish really impacts the family and the kids. And um, it was incredible to see the smile on Anthony's face when he came home. It was just amazing. Well, Anthony's wish may have been to go to Disney, but not all of the wishes that you grant Bill are travel wishes. That's right. But the important common denominator is that all the wishes are life transforming. So let me tell you the story about a kid named Jack and his wish to have a dog named Bear. This is Jack and this is Bear. Jack is my son and Bear is service dog is his wish. And they are best buds. Jack was diagnosed at five days of life after going into a medical crisis, which was diagnosed as OTC deficiency, which is a rare genetic condition where his body couldn't process protein. So the more he ate, the sicker he got. It eventually led us to a liver transplant at 14 months old. With OTC, and if a child has a severe neurological hit, it causes some brain damage, which Jack has left with some global developmental delays and um, poor motor skills. And that's where Make-A-Wish came in. When we explored possibilities of ideas of the Make-A-Wish, we ultimately decided that, you know what, maybe it would be best to get a service dog for Jack. It was kind of hands down. So with having Bear be a mobility service dog, it's giving him opportunities to help him be more independent as he gets older. Right now, he's definitely just his best friend. They've been growing up together since Bear was eight weeks old. Eventually, go to school with him, walk alongside him in his wheelchair, help him up ramps, open doors, pick up things that he's dropped. But right now, it's being his best friend and comforting and supporting him when he needs it. He's got this bond with a dog that he sees Bear. He wants to always pet Bear and he wants to help out. And that's why the dog is always cuddling up with him. They are sleeping together. Jack's on the floor sleeping, that's where they are. They're together. You can just watch them all change together. So he's another member of our family. And just the way uh, the bond is forming until that ultimate kind of, we're gonna let go of the leash and it's Jack's dog. It's brought our spirits up a lot more to see him interact with the dog and see even our daughter interact with the dog. You can just watch them all change together. So he's another member of our family. It's like we were given a four-legged family member. We have years with Bear. So it's giving opportunities for us to have a little bit of normalcy for our child when they've gone through so much in such a short amount of time. It's gonna last with him and with us for years to come. We're forever grateful for Make-A-Wish and we're set with everything that we need and we just wanna keep paying it forward so more kids can experience what Jack has experienced and what our family has. And the more that people donate to this amazing organization, the more that can happen. Oh, that was so cute. I love Bear. I know, he's adorable. He's I, so I love cute. dogs, so that's that's one of my favorite wishes right there. We do want to move on to a more game-changing wish, introducing you to our next Make-A-Wish kid. This is Cameron Moore, and Bill's going to tell us more about Cameron. So Cameron uh, is, is a, a teenager that is very uh, technologically proficient, and his wish was for a, a computer build-out wish, which after it was granted, he actually did a promotional video about our chapter for our virtu virtual gala two years ago. Hi, my name is Cameron. I'm 17 years old, and I suffer from dysautonomia, which is a disorder of the autonomic nervous system. I love to edit and stream games online for people to watch and enjoy every day, and I hope to make a career out of both of them one day. When I found out I was eligible for a wish from Make-A-Wish Northeast New York, I knew exactly what I wanted right away. And this is it, my custom computer build. I couldn't be more thankful from Make-A-Wish and Vicarious Visions and my wish granters, everybody involved. Um, this allows me to do so much moving forward and fulfill my dreams of editing professionally and streaming daily online for people to watch and enjoy every day. This is just such a huge boost of confidence and I can't wait to see where my future takes me now. Thank you so much. 
Make-A-Wish has not only granted Cameron's wish, they have given him the strength and the confidence to continue moving forward in the future doing what he loves, and we are forever grateful. And so many people helped, like my wish granters Jesse and Russell Madison. Cameron's knowledge and passion for computers has been really awesome to see, and we're really excited about all of the things that he plans to do with his wish opportunity. In early January, I got to take a tour of the video game development studio, Vicarious Visions, where afterward, I got the shock of my life. And then you could take a closer look at the present, because that's your gaming computer that you're taking home today. <laughs> all those, Cameron, all those are for you. This is your wish. This is your wish, and your wish has been granted. Hey Cameron, it's John of Vicarious Visions. I just wanted to say how cool it was being part of your wish reveal. You know, seeing the reveal up close and in person really did give me a greater appreciation for Make-A-Wish and just how powerful a wish could be. You know, good luck with your career. I know you're going to nail it, and I can't wait to check out your live stream and the work you're going to do in the future. Cheers, man. Hey, John. Thank you so much, man. I really do appreciate that, and I'll make sure to keep everybody at Vicarious Visions updated uh, with my future. So thank you so much, man. Cheers. So that's my wish. This has given me a whole new outlook on my life, and I just can't wait to see where my future takes me with this. It's remarkable to see how much of an impact these wishes have on kids. And not just the kids, but also their families and entire communities. So let me tell you a story about Melanie. It's a, a good day for her. She doesn't always have a lot of them, and it's something exciting for her to look forward to and be happy about. Well, we took her to the doctors over some terrible leg pain that she was having. And after a whole lot of blood work, she was diagnosed with leukemia. That was almost a year ago. Um, she's been through a lot of chemo, a lot of hospital stays, but she's a strong little girl and she's still in the house with a smile on her face every day. Well, her whole bedroom is pink, every inch of it except for the carpet. Um, she loves the playhouses. She loves, you know, the little plastic one at grandma's house. Um, her first wish, she was thinking a pool, but then she got the playhouse idea and she was all over that one. Warm it up. Warm slime? So is it like slime soup? Yeah. I don't know if I would eat that though. I don't think that's good to eat. Like you said, if we can go so they gave Melanie this magic fairy dust they wanted her to sprinkle where her playhouse was going to go and gave her some magic words that she had to say. And after she did, she actually asked me if her playhouse was going to pop right up, which it did. So this is my seventh wish with Make-A-Wish. Um, the wish reveal is probably one of my favorite parts. I get to see the kids' expressions, their face. We finally get to see the final product with the family, with their friends. It's, it's just my favorite part of the whole thing. Hey, I heard that you picked out these star lights. Was that your idea? I think they're very pretty. I think that was a great choice. I like them because they twinkle. I like twinkle lights. Big fan. Do you like twinkle lights? Yeah, I do too. Are you happy with your playhouse? Mm -hmm. Is it exactly what you wanted? We're gonna be in it every day. I'm sure she's gonna want lunch in there and her plastic dishes in. She'll probably take her video games out there, her little handheld things and relax in her loft. She'll probably be in there every day. Wishes have an impact on kids, on families, and communities, from volunteers like Madison to sponsors. 
And this next wish, probably one of our most unique wishes, Jackson. Bill's here to tell us about Jackson. Jackson's wish was unique in, in how the corporate community came together to help make his huge treehouse possible. Tell me, why did you want a treehouse? Um, just a place to hang out and uh, just, you know, like do stuff. And I've always wanted a treehouse because you can because it's like up high. But right now, Jackson, we are so happy for you. Congratulations on your wish day. We and, and we're gonna make this right. official now, this official yes, opening of our treehouse. So Tony. why don't you cut no. the ribbon? Ready? Okay. One, two, three. Yay! Yay! Like, just to see the process, it was thrilling. It was beyond our wildest imagination once we saw everything up in the air being built. Um, this opportunity has been amazing for him and for us just to even have this uh, available. Um, it's been great for him. He's just, he's been thrilled. Yeah, it's amazing, as you can see already, they're, they're really enjoying, enjoying it for sure. I, I gotta tell you, what, what is most distinctive about this, this wish is that, uh, as you can see, this is quite an impressive structure. And it, there were three companies that got involved that made that brought this to, to reality. Hi, uh, Jake Williams of BBL. Um, this is a... Uh, out of the typical for us uh, projects, we enjoyed coming in and, and, and building this for Jackson, and uh, all my uh, workers just just loved it. It's uh, a little different than, than normal. This was uh, this is one of many projects we've done with Make a Wish that I could tell you. When they came to me, even even during a challenging time with building materials, this was a no-brainer, and we're. we're fortunate that I work for a company that allows me to participate in these kinds of projects. They're, they're awesome. And my name is John Bruss, Delaware Engineering. This is our fourth Make-A-Wish uh, build project. And the smile on Jackson's face says it all. That makes it worth uh, everything. These guys are great to work with. All of it is great. Amazing. One of my favorite parts was the fact that and actually, this is probably my favorite part because you can just. Well, my favorite part of the treehouse is the treehouse actually being here. That thing was huge. Oh my God, he's gonna play in that for years. I know, seriously, <laughs> every kid's dream there. Literally. Every kid's dream. Such a unique wish. Well, from one musician to another, our next Make-A-Wish kid is an artist, Cameron. Yes, the other Cameron. So, as we know, wishes really are lifelong gifts. And in, in the case of this Cameron, his wish was to be able to go on a senior class trip to Europe. But, he, but his family could not afford it. So when they came to Make-A-Wish, we were able to, to uh, get a lot of donors together to actually be able to fund his wish. And the fact that total strangers would come together to make his wish happen was so compelling and inspiring for him that he said this, this it really changed his view on people. My name is Cameron Newman. I'm 21 years old and I just graduated with a degree in music education from SUNY Potsdam. I wanna to talk to you about my senior year in high school, my wish and how that wish and people like you changed my life. I went with a few of my friends and I was just feeling um, really dizzy and I was just had these vertigo symptoms. I remember just lying on the ground and I couldn't get up because I was just so incredibly dizzy and I felt sick. And this was kind of persisting for a while. We had found out that I had a grade two ependymoma and I had to go into surgery. I wanna say either two or three days later from that, I think it was like August 27th, I was in surgery. So a big whirlwind kind of happened very quickly. I was 15, it was in 20, August 2015. We didn't really know how uh, we were going to be able to afford 
uh, for me to go on a senior class trip. And um, this was kind of before I even found out I had my um, my diagnosis. So we were kind of just trying to figure that out. And I was thinking maybe I just won't go. And I kind of made that my wish. And the senior class trip was so important to me because I had really missed all of my junior year um, minus a few months that I was able to go in, but honestly, a few weeks, not even a, I don't think a full month. So I really kind of just felt disconnected from all of my friends. And it was just kind of like an experience that I felt like I needed after such a kind of traumatic experience to go through so young as well. So what we did on the trip was we went to three destinations. We went to Florence, we went to Venice, and we went to Paris. Um, some of the, like, I guess, attractions, we saw the Eiffel Tower in Paris, we saw the Leaning Tower of Pisa, we saw St. Peter's Basilica, which was awesome. To the people who give money and contribute, I would just like to say thank you, and I would just like to ask them, like, if they know the effect that they have on these kids and their families, because for me, it was just kind of a life changing moment to see just people in the world be so kind of caring and just genuine. Four years later, I am taking the next step in my journey toward becoming a music teacher. Much of my hope and strength stems from that wish and knowing that there are people like you willing to help people like me, people you don't even know. You make a real difference on behalf of all WISH kids and their families. Thank you. Before we introduce you to Madison's special song, I want to thank Bill for sharing all of the incredible WISH stories that we have heard today. I also want to thank Turner Construction Company for making this presentation possible to our audience. Now, moving on to Madison and this song that you have written, Bring On The Night. Mm -hmm. Tell us all about it. How did it come about? Yeah, so I, I've worked with Make-A-Wish over the years and I've had the honor to meet so many amazing Wish kids. And um, just to see what they go through, even on a daily basis, is, um, is incredible. They're so strong. And so I wanted to sit down with my co-writers, Janine D'Souza and Kaylee McCarter, to write a song about perseverance and pushing through anything. And that's how uh, Bring on the Night came to be, which is dedicated to the Wish kids. Nice. <laughs> okay, we are ready for it at this point. Here it is. Looking up at the stars one night They reminded me of you Like nothing I've ever known You burn so bright Even in your darkest times Oh, I believe that you have everything You need to make it through No, so bring on the night you You'll 
so much for joining us today in this celebration. To donate, volunteer, or refer a child, go to wish.org backslash N-E-N-Y. That's wish.org backslash N-E-N-Y. Don't miss the premiere of Game Changers with Madison Vandenberg next Sunday at noon on CBS 6 and 6.30 p.m. on CW 15. Throw out the dice, don't play it safe Cause I make my own rules and now there's nothing left to break I'll be the one to run the game Don't need someone to tell me how to play Being on a reality show is a very surreal experience and the artists are swept into another universe. So coming off a show, you have to get back to the fundamentals that got you there. When I came off of Idol, I was thrown into this world of like chaos. Now the light's on and there's like 10 million people yeah. and you can't mess up or cry, mm -hmm. even though- I did both. Likely do both, yeah, yeah right, right. right. You get almost a boot camp of, of music and learning how to be an artist. It always helps when you guys Songs. Yes. And you do with a great voice on hey. top of it. So come on, <laughs> you're set up. You're set Thank up now. You. In every community, there are individuals that really go above and beyond and they make a community so special. They're the stars, a local hero, and somebody that everybody looks up to. Having her promoting local businesses, that's incredible. People go into those contests as one thing and they come out sometimes not really knowing exactly what they are anymore because it's so much that happens in such a short amount of time. The graduating process of getting out of that can be super stressful for an artist and how they handle it is gonna be the thing that determines whether they get to carry on and have a long career or if it's over. When they take advantage of that unique opportunity they were afforded, I think that's what Madison's done. She's grabbing it and running with it. She's got that ball and she's gonna try to get it to the goal line.